Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about the new Armani Neo Nude Foundation. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So let's start off by reading the description of this item here and talk about its claims. So this new Armani foundation comes in 18 shades. I have the shade called Five. This retails at 58 Canadian plus tax, and it is described as a true to skin and natural glow foundation. Now, all of these keywords sucked me in because I love skin-like finish when it comes to foundation or skin tint. I don't like to feel heavy or cakey. I want my foundation to look just like my skin and look natural and luminous. So the description on the Armani Canada site here says the keywords are foundation, neo-nude, and natural hydrating. All words that I love to hear in a foundation. And it says for the benefits, it says it's buildable coverage, hydrating, and lightweight for a no makeup makeup look. Great, perfect, wonderful. It says here, a buildable hybrid foundation that enhances your natural beauty, instantly refreshing your complexion while providing deep hydration for a perfect natural glow. It also says that it's infused with hyaluronic acid to provide an intense hydration throughout the day, and it's supposed to provide like a watery sensorial feel. It says here on the website that there are in fact 24 shades available, so it might be depending on your location, certain shades shades might be available and some might not. Sometimes companies do that when they, I don't know why, but they only offer limited shade selection in certain areas of the world. It's just a fact. It also says here that when you wear the foundation, you should apply it on the skin and let it dry down a few minutes. So I don't know if it's meant to oxidize or maybe it just sort of like sinks in and just melts into your skin more. Okay, let's go ahead and just apply this right here on camera with you guys. I have been testing this out now for a few days. I've been testing out a few different applications and I have to say that my preferred method is with the makeup sponge. So recently I have rediscovered the traditional makeup brush, but there's something about this formula that I feel performs better with a sponge. So the texture of this foundation almost feels a bit like a gel. It doesn't feel quite runny like a liquid. It has a bit of structure or hold to it. And as I mentioned, I picked out the shade number five. So I went on the Armani Canada, Armani US, and also the Sephora website, trying to decipher their shade range and to figure out which color I should get. I came to the conclusion that I should get number five. I think this might be a hint too light for me but I do find that I can still work with it. So this was just one little application here. And as you can see, the skin looks nice and hydrated. It's luminous, but not in an artificial way. I think sometimes companies add some sort of like sparkly pigment to make your skin look radiant. This just looks hydrated. And when you play with the product, you do get a sense that it's cool, almost like water. You do get that cooling water sensation. So when I play with the foundation on the back of my hand, I can almost see the pigments just sort of like dissolving into the skin. And also when you manipulate the product, it does turn a little bit darker than it was initially. So I don't know if it oxidizes just slightly. It doesn't oxidize orange or anything like that, but I just find that the more that I work with the foundation, the more it looks like my actual skin tone because my biggest concern when I first applied it was that it looked so much lighter than I had anticipated. But as I wear it throughout the day and as it just sort of like sinks into my skin, it sort of just seems to sync up with my skin tone somehow. I think that when you look at the swatch of the foundation that's been blended into the skin versus a fresh swatch of foundation that hasn't been blended, the one that hasn't been blended does look a little bit more fair. So I think that's what they mean on the website when they say that you should let it just sit on your skin for a minute or so. I think that's what's best to do with this foundation here. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a bit of concealer and blush and be right back. 
Okay, I'm back with the rest of my makeup just to give you a full idea of how it looks. So this foundation feels very light. You do get a lot of your imperfections blurred. I find that this finds a nice balance between a very light no makeup look while still offering some coverage. I don't think it'll hide lots of discoloration or scarring, things like that but I think the claims that this is a no makeup makeup look, a true to skin natural glow foundation is very accurate. It does provide glow on the skin here. It does feel like a gel watery type of foundation. It feels very light and hydrating. So I have been wearing this for several days now, but I will do a check-in in, in several hours just to show you guys how it wears, if there's any breakdown, if it settles into any smile lines, etc. But when it's fresh like this, I can tell you it looks really beautiful, really healthy and luminous. I feel like you can still see a little bit of my veins here on the side of my mouth and maybe a few beauty spots, but honestly, I really don't mind a foundation that acts as my skin but better. I personally love a foundation that really just looks like my skin. I don't mind if you can see a few imperfections here and there that just to me looks more natural and more real. So as I mentioned, I did order this directly from the Armani Canada website and because of everything going on in the world right now, there was a slight delay. I placed my order on April 19th and I received my package on the 27th, so eight days. This was my first time ordering from them, so I don't have any prior experience, but I can only guess that under normal circumstances, it might take a few days less. And I was also able to select three samples, which is always fun. I got a sample of the Luminous Silk Primer, the C Fiori Eau de Parfum, and also a reviving volcanic mask. So the shipping experience with Armani Beauty was fine. It was a few days longer than I expected, but under these circumstances, we are doing with what we have. All right, let's go ahead and check back in with you guys in a few hours, just to show you guys how this wears. All right, guys, I am back. It has been about seven hours since I last applied my makeup. So I think that you can see a little bit more redness around my nose than initially. I think some of that makeup maybe just rubbed off a little. But something I wanna point out is that my skin still looks quite luminous and I did not apply a highlighter today. I just wore a blush. So any luminosity or radiance you see is from the foundation. I think that this holds up very well. I didn't apply a powder over top and something that I wanted to mention is that I have not noticed the foundation settling into any smile lines. It's not picking up any dry skin. It's not picking up on any texture whatsoever. So that for me is a huge bonus. And even though it's been several hours, I think the foundation still looks hydrating and luminous. I honestly think it looks just as luminous now as it did when I first applied it. It really held up very nicely and it worked really well with the concealer and the blush. All the other products really worked well together. So something I wanted to mention is that this Neo Nude foundation has 35 milliliters of product, whereas the Luminous Silk only has 30. So you do get a little bit more product. And something I wanted to make a comparison to is this Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint because both of these are water-based, both of these are very hydrating, but also natural. I think that these are in the same family. I don't think that they are dupes for each other, but I think if you like this type of foundation product, you would love this one here, because even though this is very natural, it does softly blur imperfections and add that nice hydrated glow throughout the day. So overall, I really like this foundation. I think it's really nice. If you love a natural finish, something more soft and subtle, this is definitely for you. I know that they say that you can build this up. I think you can build this up to possibly a medium, but it's definitely a lighter foundation. So if you like something natural, something that's just going to make your skin look like yours, but better, this one is definitely for you, especially if you like to have your skin look luminous through the day. 
This foundation is absolutely not matte whatsoever, so if you're looking for something more matte, this might not be for you. Okay, that about does it for my thoughts on the Armani Neo Nude foundation. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Have you tried this new foundation? Let me know. So if you guys are new to my channel, I talk about nothing but luxury beauty. And whenever I get a new collection, I will create several different looks with the same palette. So if you're looking for someone to show you how to use the same eyeshadows multiple different ways, I am your girl. And I also have this new series on my channel called Beauty History, which is where I talk about the history and legacy of different fashion houses and makeup brands as well. So if that sounds interesting, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, I think this is all I have for you guys for today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.